this week's fundamentals. My name is Thomas and I'm the host of this channel. Last week, unfortunately, I wasn't able to upload any videos because I got the flu, but this week I will upload two, as always. So this week I will discuss uh, Celo, which is a relatively new project. This is actually the follow-up of Libra, which was Facebook digital currency that got cancelled and is backed by the same parties. Um, Celo focuses on mobile blockchain applications and has its own blockchain. Celo also enables you to send cryptocurrencies by uh, phone numbers. So with that said, let's jump into this week's video. So this is the main page, Celo.org, crypto made for mobile. Celo is a mobile first platform that makes financial decentralized apps and crypto payments accessible to everyone with a mobile phone. As I said earlier, you can send your uh, money and crypto through a mobile phone instead of the public key. So this is a great improvement to do transactions. They currently already manage over 43 million transactions. They have an average block time. So to um, verify transactions within five seconds and they have 546 days carbon negative. So this is really a platform that also focuses on sustainability. So if you're interested in knowing more, you can click this link. Then we go to the overview. So Cellos aims to empower anyone with a smartphone anywhere in the world to have access to financial services, send money to phone numbers and pay merchants on a decentralized platform that is operated by a community of users. So the code of Cello blockchain has shared ancestry with Ethereum. So the code is based on the Ethereum code, but they have uh, improved and tweaked it in their own preference. Then to not go too much in detail, we jump over to the consensus of proof of stake. So Cello is a proof of stake blockchain. So in comparison of the proof of work systems like Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, Ethereum is going to 2.0. So it's going to proof of stake, but it's still proof of work. This eliminates the negative environmental impact. So again, environment, I think that's also very important for a, for a project that it's uh, sustainable. Then the on-chain governance, so the voting power in the token. This includes operations like upgrading smart contracts, adding new stable currencies, modifying the reserve target asset allocation and changing how validators elections are decided. So quite some votes to bring out uh, once you're a holder of Celo. They have an ultralight synchronization. Celo provides extreme fast, secure synchronization to enable light clients to begin to track the current state of the Celo blockchain ledger almost immediately. So what it explains here that a light client is a client that is um, using the basics of the blockchain, also uh, cheap transaction fees and fast transactions are needed. As we know, Bitcoin is not really for light client, therefore they have the Lightning Network, the layer two solution to make uh, small transactions fast and uh, cheaper. So Celo also focuses on that. As, it's, as I said, this wants to be a provider of uh, sending digital currencies over the phone and it's for everyday use and for all the people. So it's not only for the people that really uh, are able to pay the high transaction fees. Then it also creates their own stable currencies. So Celo enables family and stable coins that track the value of any assets, including fiat currencies, commodities, and even natural resources. Stable coins supported included the Celo dollar and the Celo euro. Uh, the Celo euro is something that I'm really interested in because I haven't seen, I'm, I'm personally located in Europe and I haven't seen any good stable currency for the euro. If you know, please uh, leave a message in the comments, which track the value of the US dollar and the euro respectively. Then the lightweight identity. So Celo offers a lightweight identity layer that allows users of applications, including Celo wallets, to identify and securely transact with other users via contact phone numbers. So again, this is really a core thing for Celo that you can send your money through phone numbers. The Celo wallet enables payments directly to users listed in their devices contacts lists. So the Celo native asset has a duality of both the native currency, so the currency on the Celo blockchain, as an ERC20 token. So they also created a Celo token on the Ethereum. So you can do transactions on the Ethereum blockchain with Celo as well. And this simplifies the work of application developers. In Celo, transaction fees can be paid in stable cryptocurrencies, 
a user sending cello dollars will be able to pay their transaction fee out of their cello dollar balance. So normally if you send a, a stable coin like the, the Tether, the USD Tether, you pay transactions on the Ethereum platform, which can be quite expensive. So Celo also offers you to pay in your stable currency, which is, I think, uh, a nice idea, something stable, because fees, as we know, are a huge problem. The more popular a coin gets, the more transactions are happening, the higher the fees. And with the stable coin, you have more stable fees. So they don't need to hold separate balance of uh, Celo in order to make transactions. So then we go to the organizations that really back it up, which I find really fascinating. So it's Reid Hoffman, a billionaire American entrepreneur. You have Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter. You have uh, Social Capital, which is Shamath. I'm not going to try to pronounce his surname because I will, I will fail, but we all know him in the crypto space. And besides that, a funny insider is that Kasuka Honda, which was an ex-player of AC Milan, who is also interested in this project. And besides that, obviously, we have Coinbase. So then I wanted to go to the um, then I wanted to go to the founder of Celo, which is Rene Reimsberg. Rene Reimsberg studied in Korea and at MIT in the US. Um, he really focused on entrepreneurship and innovation, so that comes together uh, well in blockchain projects. He was a uh, CEO and founder of Loku that he later sold to GoDaddy. He's entrepreneur in residence. And since 2017, he has been working on uh, C-Labs, which is Cello Labs. That is the nonprofit organization that um, helps with developing Cello. Then we go to the Twitter where they are quite active. Uh, they don't have a huge uh, follow followers because it's a top 100 uh, currency and 65,000 followers is not too too much. And especially since this is a, a, a people's currency that should be available for everyone, um, they really need to grow their, their network. Then we go and have a look at the price on CoinGecko. We can see there is a maximum supply of 1 billion and the current circulating supply is 300 million. Here we also see that uh, the currency only became available in the beginning uh, of 2020. So it's a fairly new concept. Uh, I heard about it the first time because Digital Asset News was talking about it. We are currently seeing all time highs, but we also see that this is a price point that Celo mostly has uh, a lot of difficulties to pass. We can also see that it's available in a lot of markets, which is also always something that I find uh, interesting to see. And then we go to TradingView, where we actually see the same pricing information. Um, it's fairly new, so even TradingView cannot show you um, a great overview. But I predict that Celo, with the next bull run, can hit a target of up to $50, which is more or less 5 um, x from today. Um, with that said, that's the end of this video. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to respond. Also, if you have any recommendations regarding other currencies or subjects that you would like to have discussed. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.